Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to tell you about some important formulas for slope and deflection of beams. This is very very important for all exams. Coal India, IES, ISRO, GATE, PSU, SSCJ. In every exam, they are asking this type of questions. In problem also, they are asking in short type multiple choice. They are also giving. So this is very very important. First, for getting methods, methods for getting deflection. Methods for deflection. Four methods are there. Double integration method, second is moment of area method, moment area method, third is here. Strain energy method. Fourth is conjugate beam method. For problems. One and three is three is most useful. After that, two condition wise, I will tell you for cantilever beams. With point point load at extreme end. L, A, B, length is L, load is W at extreme end. In this condition, maximum slope and here maximum deflection, Y or delta, whatever you find. Theta B maximum here also and deflection delta B is maximum. For this condition, theta B is WL square by 2EI and here YB is its WL cube by 3EI. Next condition for cantilever beam with UDL, it's omega load per length. Length is L. Here, one more thing is important capital W total length is omega into L. Here A B theta B is maximum theta B is omega L square by six E I or omega L is W capital W W L square by six E I here maximum deflection not B Y B is Omega L to the power four by eight E A W you know capital W is Omega into L total load it's W L Q by eight 
Next condition is our gradually increasing load. Cantilever beam with gradually increasing load. B length is L. Here maximum load is omega newton per meter, whatever it may be. Load per unit length. And your total load W it will come half base into height. L into omega. Omega L by 2. But in this case, at B point, slope is maximum, it is omega L Q by 24 E I, it is in W term, capital W term, W L square by 2 L E I for slope. Slope is a maximum at sorry sir, for deflection, deflection is maximum at B. It's omega L to the power 4 by 30 E A in W term W L Q by 15 E I. Next is cantilever beam. If it will be increased from left to right or fixed end to free end. Same L, A, B, here omega is maximum W is half base into height in this case deflection is important slow don't ask y v is eleven by one twenty omega L to the power four by E I in W term it's 11 by 60 W is half omega into L by EI W is total load next is our cantilever with moment M Applied at free end A and B. Slope and deflection both are maximum at free end. So theta B is ML by EI. So many times asked in a again the deflection. I think three times asked. Y by is ml square by 2 ea this is very very important for this row three times asked for is both are important cantilever beam with moment at extreme end or free end Theta B is maximum M L by E I and delta B is deflection maximum deflection M L square by 2 E I. Next is 
नेक्स्ट इज आर एस एस बीम और सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम विथ पॉइंट रो दिस वन ऑल्सो आस्ट इन एस रो मेनली डिफ्लेक्शन दे आर आस्किंग मिड पॉइंट पॉइंट लो डब्लू ए बी सी मैक्सिमम हियर मैक्सिमम स्लोप पॉइंट एंड डिफ्लेक्शन पॉइंट सो स्लोप इज मैक्सिमम एट ए एंड बी एंड योर डिफ्लेक्शन इज मैक्सिमम एट मिड पॉइंट सो थीटा ए इक्वल टू थीटा बी बोथ आर सेम डब्ल्यू एल स्क्वायर बाय सिक्सटीन ई आई एंड एट सी पॉइंट डिफ्लेक्शन इज मैक्सिमम बट स्लोप इज मैक्सिमम एट ए एंड बी दिस वन आस्ट इन आई एस आर In other examples, and also this is very very important. This deflection part. Next is SS beam with point load at a distance A from left fixed support and at a distance B from right fixed. Support. W A B C. In this case, slope at C will be maximum W B by three E I L A square minus A B. Slope. For gate extension, this is very very important. Gate and I is three e i l w square b square three e i l. Next, simply supported beam with U D L. Supported at two ends. A B. Load for unit length is omega. At midpoint C. We already discussed. In this case, slope is maximum at A and B. It's omega l cube by twenty four e i. In this case, deflection is very very important. So many times asked. And w total load w will be your omega into l capital W. So if you convert in w term, w L square by twenty four e i maximum deflection at C or midpoint five by three eighty four omega L two bar four by e i in W term five by Three eighty four W L Q by E I. One thing you remember: if you use omega term, then L two bar four will come. If you use W term or total load term, then L Q will come.
next condition is SS beam with moment M is the moment A B C point theta A cut theta B slope is maximum at A and B This one also two times asked in this row exemption. And for other exemption also this is important. And your YC is reflection maximum at midpoint. ML square by 8 EA. We already discussed these two conditions. This one and this one. Simply sum for that with beam with point load at middle. So its delta is maximum deflection WLQ by 48 EI. And in this case with UDL omega and length L total load also omega into LW. So here also delta C or maximum deflection 5 by 384 WLQ by EA. So that same uh, instead of simply supported beam, if you fix tray here like this AB with load W at middle, you will get omega C is for SS beam. This is for fixed delta SS by 4. So WLQ by 48 into 4 is 192 EA for fixed beam. And in this case, omega is omega into L is W total load A B C is the midpoint we already discussed 5 by 384 WLQ by EA for SS beam and for fixed beam delta C is delta SS by 5 so if you divide 5 it will come WLQ by 384 EI SS beam deflection by 5 and here SS beam deflection by 4 if you know this two also you can get next two. Thank you friends for watching my video. If you like my video then subscribe it. Thank you.